Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this is a video about audio. So I'm gonna make an apology up front because all this audio equipment down here is normally what I would use to feed the audio into my video camera uh, to, when I make these kind of videos because I wanna have really great audio for you. However, this device is not a video camera, it is my cell phone. Uh, now, before I go any further, I need to make two, uh, a quick disclaimer on two things here. Uh, I'm gonna talk about Asus for a minute, and I'm gonna talk about Shure for the rest of the uh, video. And uh, what I wanted to say is that neither ASUS nor Shure have provided me with any payment, uh, consideration, or compensation in any way, shape, or form, uh, that my opinions are my opinions, and uh, truth is what it is, good, bad, or ugly, and I'm gonna tell you like it what it is. Uh, with that, uh, let me mention this phone for a second. It's the ASUS Zenfone 2 ZE551ML. And that's what recording this video now. And it's recording the video to a uh, 128 gigabyte SDXC card. Now, uh, the uh, literature that came with the phone said it could take a 64, bit, uh, 64 gigabyte card. However, I purchased a 128 gigabyte card and it recognized it and that is what is working uh, at this time. And that's what I'm recording this video too. Um, as far as the laptop goes, they don't actually manufacture this individual unit anymore, but this is the Asus ZenBook line. Uh, and the thing that I really liked about this is that it has no moving parts, no fan, no spinning drives, and it's a very, very quiet computer. Now, I'm also going to mention that HP also has not given me any payment, compensation, or consideration in any way, shape, or form, but the computer that's in the corner that you see that label for, that says HP 15, and it is a Core i3 uh, processor. Uh, it's also an outdated computer that I have migrated over to uh, a, a Linux system called uh, Ubuntu Studio, and uh, I use that computer for everything. That does have a spinning fan in it, but it's very, very quiet. So my point is when you're recording audio, you want the quietest computer system that you can have for that particular purpose. And both of these computers Though outdated and you couldn't buy them anymore, um, they are both very, very quiet. Now, the real video is about this device right here, and this is the Shure X2U uh, XLR to USB adapter. Now, the previous video that I made on this was basically made on the computer using the device to record my audio while I was doing a voiceover and to basically describe what it was that I did and how I hooked up the equipment to get multiple uh, microphones through the device to be able to record as I needed to for any particular video. So what I wanna do is uh, take you through the audio process from somebody speaking to recording it to some sort of device. And let's start out with uh, microphones that I use at work all the time. This is a Shure uh, MX391 slash O. The O stands for omnidirectional and all of the microphones that I use professionally are omnidirectional microphones. This one I use for people who are non-professional speakers and I want to make sure that they don't uh, do any damage to my microphone and that I have more control than they do over what I'm hearing. So that, that's, that's, that's pretty much the bottom line on that one here. This microphone is a lavalier microphone, of course, and this is the Shure SM93 microphone. I could try to read it off of the back of the microphone, but it also says the model number on, the, on that device that plugs into the uh, mixer. But it's the SM93. This is an excellent, uh, uh, it picks up uh, my voice very, very well uh, when, I'm, when I'm capable of using it, unlike with this cell phone. Uh, the other uh, microphone that I have here, I will use it to um, capture audio when I don't want to have a microphone attached to myself, or if I don't want a microphone um, uh, where I might touch it. I need to have the uh, microphone elevated and kind of out of my... Uh, you know, out of my out of my way a little bit. I will actually hook this up to a microphone stand and hang it down like a boom mic a little bit. Uh, this is the SM sixty uh, three LB. Now the L means that it has a longer handle to it, and the B just means it's black. So there's your inside uh, secret about the labeling of uh, the microphones. Now what I really want you to notice is that here's a boundary microphone, here's a lavalier microphone, and here's a handheld microphone. These two microphones require phantom power. Of course, this one does not. Um, there are different microphones and there are different types of microphones and they're for different purposes. However, if we wanted to use all three of these microphones at the same time while we're recording our audio to our computers uh, through the X2U, we can do that. 
the only thing is we need a microphone mixer in order to get the job done. And uh, what we do is we connect our microphones to the mixer and the mixer, uh, this particular one happens to be the Shure SCM268. And the reason why I love this mixer is because it is almost bulletproof. Um, you really don't want to be driving down the street and hit one of these things in your car. They're very, uh, very tough. They're not very heavy, but they're very well built. They also have excellent electronics in them to get rid of some unwanted sounds from frequency problems and things of that nature. And it also provides phantom power to the microphones that need it. So with that, I'm going to turn off the phantom power on the X2U because it is not required. As you can see, the light up here continues to flash. Now let's go ahead over, um, let's just recap, the, uh, re recap that real fast. The speaker speaks into the microphone. The microphone is connected to the mixer. The mixer is connected to the X2U device. So multiple microphones into one device and we have it right here. We also want to be able to monitor our sound to make sure we have, I'm going to turn that back on for a second, I'll come back to that. Uh, we also want to be able to monitor our sound to make sure we're doing well with that. So the X2U device has a microphone, uh, headphone input option right here. So any, any microphone that you have that has the mini plug, the 3.5 millimeter uh, uh, plug, you can put right there in the jack and you listen and monitor the sound while you're recording it. The lowest light on the unit is the USB power light. As long as this is lit, you know the power is going up the unit. And uh, the second light, the orange light here, is the phantom power light. When this is activated, it is providing phantom power to your microphones. You don't need it in this case because the microphone mixer is providing the phantom power, so I'm going to shut it off. And we know it's still working because after a few seconds, this would normally stop, but it still works because the microphone mixer is providing the phantom power. And of course, the top is the XLR connection, which goes out to the mixer. All right. And the bottom part being the USB connection, which goes over, in this case, to my laptop computer. So that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. And uh, I just wanted to show you how I use the uh, Shure X2U XLR to USB adapter to enable me to use multiple microphones. And not only multiple microphones, you can use multiple sound sources. You can have any other source going into the mixer that you want. As, and it could be any mixer you want as long as it has an XLR output. Then you can take that XLR output and put it into your X2U uh, adapter to get the USB signal into your uh, laptop or other desktop or recording computer, whatever you want to use. So with that, I hope that uh, provides more insight to you and I hope that it's helpful and I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that the sound came out very well. Uh, and by the way, if the sound does come out well, that's just you know one more, uh, I guess, a feather in Asus's cap um, because again, this video right here is being shot on a cell phone and I hope that the audio came out well and uh, we'll see how it works out when I post this baby. So with that, take care and we'll see you in the next video.